we actually get to see what she looked like. Hey, Even the warden's like, hey, yo, no way. He actually brought her out. So we all right, thinking, girl. oh, yeah, she got to be fine as hell. <laughs> she got to be the baddest chick we probably ever seen. Well, uh. Cap? Oh! Shit! Oh, oh my. Everybody like, yo. Bruh. Hey guys, welcome to Live in Color. Happy New Year! Happy New Year! Mm -hmm. and we made it. And we're doing this. God bless. Another year, y'all. Let's get it. Facts. Look what we find, man. CJ, man. CJ got a new one. Beyond skip straight. Why so like those bad kids? Okay. Go that way. Oh, so I'm going yeah. So I'm not a boy. Go that way. Let's go. Uh, he gonna get me. I'm uh, go to that man. He ain't gonna get. I'm gonna get you. Uh, All right, ladies and gentlemen. Today we have a very special video because uh, you see, we're going to jail. I beg your pardon. Nigga, actually, not even jail. We going to maximum security prison. Cause my boy Baki done got locked up. Yeah, today we're gonna be taking a tour of the Arizona State Prison. Cause goddamn, this place reeks of Black Air Force energy. Cause some of these niggas are the definition of built different. But ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and relax as we dive into the Let's Arizona see, State Prison. As we will observe yeah. pure ignorance, nigga, and the art of throwing hands on this special programming of. He really did that though. I'm not gonna lie. It really looked like it. Yeah, what Baki All right, y'all, so before we get into the prison, we got to understand, uh, how the hell this nigga Baki even get locked up in the first place? Right, I girl. thought he was a kind little soul, but apparently he's a menace. Shit, he gonna end up just like his father. Speaking of his father, at the beginning of the season, there's a press conference going on because the African army was fighting a ginormous oversized African elephant that was terrorizing the entire savannah. Dang. And this guy right here is the sole survivor. So these reporters are wondering, okay, bro, you're the sole survivor, so how the hell did y'all kill the damn thing? And this nigga's like, shit, it wasn't us. It was a nigga that killed that shit. A man in all black appeared and killed that fat ass oversized elephant with his bare was it Baki? At this point, you could just guess who did this Baki. shit. Bro, I don't know what this man Yujiro is at this point. Now he's oh, out here killing today? oversized Dang. African elephants, and then he ate the nigga. This man dead ass just oh, ate a whole ass year's shit. worth of protein. Then look at her smart ass with her carrying that. That's gangster, I ain't gonna lie. That nigga said a whole year of protein. He really did eat. You know how big an elephant is? This man dead ass just ate a whole ass year's worth of protein. Mm -hmm. And then look at her smart ass with her Karen ass cut. Do you expect us to believe this? Bitch, you better believe it before he come for your ass next. So then dude gets up and he's like, look, I say to the facts, I'm done talking to y'all niggas. Hey, I ain't even gonna lie, bro. If I was in his situation, I would do he the same thing. Like, it. if I saw a nigga kill an African oh, elephant wow. with his bare hands, what the fuck am I supposed to tell you? Yeah, man, I saw a nigga kill a fat ass elephant the other day with his bare hands. You gonna look at me like, this nigga dumb. But in the Baki universe, shit, I believe anything. So now we cut to this little kid getting bullied and they're like, hey, little nigga, uh, go in there in that high school right there and go fight the biggest nigga you can find. So then he goes into the high school and runs into these three niggas oh, that that's do wrong. not look like high schoolers nah. at all. Like, Jesus Christ. They look like they at least pushing 33. That fight is not even fair right there. But you might whoop their ass. No, but why y'all send a little kid who was, he's already being bullied and y'all send him in there? Yeah, but. I know how these cartoons turn. All right, we little gotta one, see, cause this is crazy. Ass. So then his little flimsy ass pulls out the shank it, and then they just start laughing at the nigga. Oh, and then he's trying to shank. talk to him, but they like, say it with your chest, nigga. So bro is shitting bricks right now, but he's like, please, please, you're not the strongest guy. So they like, oh. You looking for that big nigga. So then they cut outside to the kids, and the kids are like, I right, bruh. They said, after school, I got to go to the Tama River. Big homie said, they'll bring the strongest high schooler in the world to you. Just don't be a bitch. And of course, these little badass, baby ass kids laughing and shit. Hey. Oh, but they ain't going to be laughing soon. So they go to the river, he and help. there he is. He son to the biggest menace on planet Earth. And look at them little badass kids running like some bitches. Why they really so then little what homie pull out the knife. <laughs> and <Bucky laughs> like, so you going to use that small ass knife? I right, bet. I ain't holding back then. This man is. Is dead shame. serious, ready to run the ones yeah. with a child. And look at little homie. He's like, oh my god, this nigga's dead serious. This nigga's dead serious. I ain't going no. home. Oh, no. So then Baki asks him. The ratio look crazy. He's like, uh, a little. Then Baki's like, bet. So bro flash steps and smacks the <laughs> little Christ. Oh my god. He imprinted his hand on his ass. Oh, 
was. It made bro skip on water. Yo, he really hit that kid with full force. So then Baki befriends the kid, but then you draws per. All right, see, I can't do that. You see, this some shit. You beat his ass to show him. What did he show him? He's schooling him. He's just, By beating his ass? I mean. <laughs> for the hand hey, back he's out. Hey, he's wild for that. Shit. Hey, you know your dad did just kill like an African elephant the size of a dinosaur, right? That's so that tough. means uh, he accepted your challenge. So it looks like Baki and Yujiro are going to go at it for round two. Hopefully, you don't oh. go like round one. Ah! So Stratum's like, all right, how you gonna respond? And Baki just starts yawning. Oh, like, it's shit. all good, bro. It's just a father-son fight. <laughs> so Stratum's like, nigga, you don't know shit. This is like two countries fighting each other. For real? So they both like, strong right, as bro, hell. I gotta find a way out of train. So then he starts shadow boxing a ghost of Mike what? Tyson. Oh, it does look like Mike Tyson. Freak oh, out. What the That's crazy. In the Casper is going on right now. Bro Yo, is fighting a wild. ghost of Mike Tyson and is taking damage. How are you oh, going to get any hits in? Get yeah, you, crazier, right? How you get this beat up? man starts fighting. A what is this? Green mantis? What in the fuck? He's, He's fight fighting anything. mantis from Kung Fu Panda. Bro, that nigga fight anything. That's Bugs, it. Casper the ghost. What's going on? I ain't going to lie, that Casper was built, bro. I don't think you can fuck with him. You ain't getting no hits in. I just don't question anything anymore in this show. So now we cut to America, <laughs> and they got this parade going on, and we got President Bosch. Bu yo, yo, this nigga Bush. So while the parade oh, is going on, they Bush end up here? losing the signal. And that nigga Bush is gone. Because this man Baki just straight snatched that nigga. What? He hey. secret service. Y'all niggas ass. What the hell? You could basically let a damn child take the... Get president, shit, it won't see my ass running for goddamn yeah, uh, president anytime soon if this is my goddamn secret <laughs> service. So Baki ends up having tea with this nigga, and Bush like, uh, you That's realize Bush? that you just kidnapped the president of the U.S. Of a, my nigga, right? And Baki like, hell yeah, I know. Shit, I meant to get caught. So Bush asks what is Baki's demands, and this Why man Baki says, the U.S. Arizona State they Prison? Yeah, lock me up, nigga. Is this like, nigga serious? Like what? This man Bush like, wait, 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 you kidnapped me so you can get locked up to fuck. Mm. Bucky, that's crazy. Is this nigga serious? Actually this man Bush up. like, wait, 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 you kidnapped Wallace. me so you can get locked up to fight this nigga Biscuit and you don't want no money or no bitches? He's the weakest okay. ass demands I've ever heard. Yeah, that's Yo, crazy. This man Bucky is really taking training guards to another level. This man said, fuck a hyperbolic time chamber, nigga, I'm going to prison. So our boy Bucky gets arrested. He wow. gets locked up. The nigga's guilty. That nigga That's what he wanted, though. Then he gets incarcerated into the Arizona State Prison. Oh, this is where the state uh, beyond straight start. So Baki goes into the warden's office and speaks with the warden. And man's is like, I heard about you, boy. Heard you wanted to fight that nigga Biscuit, Mr. Unchained. <laughs> and the reason this God. man is called Unchained is because he, he can leave different. the prison whenever the hell he want to. So basically, oh, this whole place is his house. Gangster. They call him Unchained because he's the one that... He's not really chained because he could walk out this shit and nobody would tell him nothing. Look how he built, though. Yeah. Who's, who's going to fuck with him? So he stays in the prison just for the, for the hell of it. Bruh, I wouldn't mess with him. I would let him walk out. They say this nigga called Unchained. Basically, this whole place is his house. And yo, Damn. look at the treatment this nigga is getting in prison. Oh. I mean, look at this big motherfucker. He almost broke the chair. So Baki wants to run good. the hands of Biscuit, but Biscuit explains that there's a ranking system up in this prison. There's 471 other niggas that want to run the hands with me. Nigga, you just a rookie. But Baki decides, you know what, f the ranking system, nigga. I just want to throw the hands with you right now. So bro just whacks him in the face, but... <laughs> Wait, what happened? He Nothing. ate that shit for breakfast, Ooh. nigga. Look at him, relax, Ooh. young blood. Don't catch me with that weak shit. Up, so Baki gets sent to a cell, and apparently the second hell. strongest person <laughs> in the prison is in that same cell. So as he enters the cell, he sees his first cellmate, and it's Iron Michael. Oh my God, nigga, that's Mike Tyson. Yo, so Baki asks like Mike, Tyson. hey, yo, I know you gotta be number two, <laughs> nigga, you Mike Tyson. But this man Mike says, nah. I ain't even in the top 10. Who's in the top 10? Oh, shit. That's scary already. Right, hold up. Wait a damn minute. <laughs> so, uh, uh, this nigga Mike Tyson ain't even in the top he 10. Yo, what type of 10. monsters, fucking fiends, you got locked up in this Bruh, bitch? Nigga, what savages. the fuck is this? Arkham? Who y'all got locked up here? 
fucking Clayface? Killer Croc? <laughs> Nigga Bane down there or some shit? Hell, they might have Joker in solitary confinement. So then they wake up next morning and it's time for roll call. And this big Sasquatch ass nigga gotta be like 7'7". Seven, seven. Oh, and Baki thinks that, okay, this gotta be number two. But nah, Sasquatch goes over to the locker and Who's says, hey, yo, that? second, wake Is the fuck up. So oh, this yeah. nigga comes out the casket like Vincent Valentine. Who's it? He's like, hey, yo, what's good, my boy? And I'm like, did this nigga just come out the locker? Nah, 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 did he sleep in the locker? Oh, nah, this man different. So then Baki asks him, hey, yo, why you sleep in the broom closet? For and real? this man says, I'm a warrior. Hey, what? You know, ain't no fucking way, boy. This nigga. But ain't no way. <laughs> now, now, ladies and gentlemen, I want y'all to it really think really hard yeah. about this. This nigga is in prison and said that I'm a warrior. Doesn't this remind you of a very notorious prisoner that said this shit before? I tell him like this here. I like you. And I want you. That we can do this the easy way or we can do it the hard way. The choice is yours. look good. I'm a warrior too. Ain't no sense. Oh! Is he? I'm a warrior too. Stop. Stop. Make, don't, stop playing with me. What's in the closet? <laughs> I don't know. They have simple. Oh, why this nigga in the closet? This nigga's a booty warrior. Oh, he's a booty warrior. Oh, nigga, you best not drop the soap. So yeah, Guevara, oh, AKA crazy. the second coming of the booty warrior is a different breed of human. <laughs> like, bro, what is he doing to this spoon right now? So this big oh. man tried to fight him, but it, it, it did not go so well for this nigga. Oh, he even how disrespectful tried. this is. He grabs the officer's gun puts it in his hands and he's like, all right, hold on tight. Make sure to Yo, shoot me real good with that shit, nigga. Pop me, nigga. But right before he pulled the trigger, he cocks oh. dude in his balls. Oh my God. And, and that nigga's decommissioned. So oh, after he kicked the dude in the dick, he's like, hey, yo, guards, uh, I want an after school exercise with this nigga. So oh, they it's have a booty warrior. So he gonna take him down. Take him down. Oh my gosh. He, he told me he want to exercise. Oh my gosh. Yo, this. Yo, this shit crazy. I can't do anymore. A piece of his hair sticks it in his ear Bruh. and it literally killed his eardrums. So dude fell over and it was wrapped. Died so by your ear. Guevara the leaves, the officer comes over to Big Boy and he's I like, can't. hey yo, uh, why are you up in here alone? I know you see that sign, you blind motherfucker. So then he pops dude in the back uh, of the head. God. Why? Damn it. He why says, so yeah, I, I warned him. No, no, you smoked that nigga with no warning. So Guevara comes back to the lunchroom and while everybody He's leaving. Baki tries to talk to Guevara, but the cop comes in and starts swinging. But Ooh. he ate that shit. He broke and his arm. grabbed his baton. Ayo. And this nigga does okay. the same shit he did with the spoon. Yo, when did Baki graduate from shit talking university? Yo, Boy, got the shit, shit talk, shit talk, no me. Okay. So Baki gets put in solitary confinement in do this shit? very uncomfortable place. Jesus Christ. Wait, where's that guy? Feel his dislocated shoulder from here. So we get a little bit of Guevara's backstory, and apparently this man has made an entire army that can kill niggas with just their bare hands. And one dude's already invaded Bush's cat in the goddamn Secret Service. You've done it again. Damn, so dude plays this video on the TV, and is this nigga at his house? Oh, oh my God, that's a nigga's wife and kids. Yo, this man is disrespectful. Oh my God, he's mad disrespectful. How you at the president's house with his yeah. wife and family? Yeah, and he, bro, he recorded that. Yeah. Live, that shit's live on the gram. <laughs> okay, he's not a good troll. All right, let's go, man. Look at his face right now. You know he's like, you know I'm about to fuck your wife, right? No. Yo, I didn't know this nigga Bush was in the NTR. But hey, yo, for real though, this gotta be like the biggest cuck movie like, in about... history besides, well. You know, you know what scene I'm talking about, but we ain't talking about that shit here today. That shit is forbidden. But yeah, this man beat the f out of his entire security force and took a Dude, whole no tour of this house. Uh-uh, yeah. bro, that, 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 that's one of the most disrespectful moments I've ever seen. So later on, the Try. warden is talking about taking out Mike because they don't want him coming back to the boxing world after getting out of prison. So he gets these triplet looking niggas called the, the mouth. One's named the lip, the tooth, and the Why they look like females? What in the hell is this? These oh, Oompa Loompa oh, ass oh, niggas oh, in unison oh, and shit? Oh, oh hell no, nah, bro. <laughs> so they bring Mike outside and they start jumping this nigga in unison. I've never seen motherfuckers People jump a nigga so precisely. Him. So then they put up, Mike in a quarter and gee, Jesus uh, Christ. Uh, Damn. Damn. 
Then they stopped him out. Mike, oh you gotta do something. Gosh, bro. This... In real life, that's not happening. I know that ain't happening. Mike Tyson is not letting that happen. No, nah, man. Yo, he's not even throwing any punches. You know what I'm saying? I ain't seen no swing. That's not the real Mike Tyson. That's that's a fake Tyson. Yeah, but right before they about, about to shank slice him? his ass up, happen. this man Guevara comes out of Mike, nowhere, rolling like out this? like Samus <laughs> in North Ball like form. That? So three Oompa Loompas surround his ass, yeah, but this guy dude, he whips out his dick and starts pissing on him. What? <gasps> Oh, this nigga really nah. just whipped out his shit and took a piss nah. on him. Motherfucker, like, I was marking my territory. So then they just started stomping his ass out. But dude got up from that like a zombie. Then dude powers up on some Jack Sparrow oh, Pirates of the Caribbean me. type shit. Oh, that nigga dead, bro. Send his ass to high heaven and back down to earth. And the other they nigga don't know who they pissed his pants and got the step in nah. the <laughs> Then other homie just sat in the corner. He just said, nah, gee, I'm done. So later on, back in the up. cell while they're chatting it up, this big nigga biscuit busts up in the damn room and he's biscuit. like, hey, yo, Guevara, we fighting tomorrow, nigga. So while they're talking, Baki tries to intervene, but he gets his shit So then Biscuit pulls out this handkerchief that uh, apparently is his fine ass girlfriend's handkerchief. And apparently the nigga loves to smell the fragrance on that bitch. But spits on that shit. Yeah, this man is so disrespectful. So the fact that he cried, I thought he was gonna whoop his ass, but he went to go cry. A big dude like that just ran off like that. That was crazy. I thought he was gonna whoop his ass too. I thought it was, thought it was it. The way he um opened the door and ran in there. Bro, something ain't right. Made him run away. He already know what time it is. I'm guessing he already know not to fuck with dude. Man, that's that's scary. Dude ran off like a pussy. All you did was spit on your handkerchief. Before the fight, him. we get to see what Biscuit's girl looks like. Well, just some shadows of her. And we don't get to see much, but she has a very nasty ass attitude because she's throwing shit at him. She threw the whole bottle of crown at oh, that nigga. Don't get me for? wrong, y'all. Yo, this Biscuit man Biscuit is, a is savage, but. Yo, this man is down bad horrendous. Uh, down bad. Now it's a day of the fight and all the prisoners are here to watch this. The number one and number two. Why, why does he act like he love her so much and smelling her oh, he perfume? He taking but yeah, you getting whoop ass at home from the same chick. I mean, that's what he loves. Bro, you a Sam. His ass bed and everybody's like, hey, yo, no what way. This could do? actually be her. We actually get to see what she looked like. Even the one is like, hey, yo, no way. He actually brought her out. So we all right, thinking, girl. oh, yeah, she got to be fine as hell. <laughs> she got to be the baddest chick we probably ever seen. Well, uh. Cap? Oh! Shit! Oh, oh my. <laughs> Everybody like, yo. Bruh. Fuck okay. Ain't, ain't no goddamn, my mind must be deceiving me Yo, right now. Ain't no way this is my 600 pound life rotisserie ass chicken. And, oh my God, nigga, the bitch well, is the best. Walk, Cause she's so big, they gotta keep her in the bed. That's why she throwing stuff. That's who he was living the whole time. Yeah. Bruh, you, you gotta quit. And she abusing you? Whooping your ass. This got to be the dead. biggest making, what the actual fuck moment I, I've ever seen nah. in an anime. Hey, but we could her. bash this nigga Biscuit all we want. We could call him a big-ass simp, ultra simp, he but hey, hey, who going to check that nigga, though? <laughs> Not me. I mean, look at dude. He busted out of his tuxedo, and it's still oh, standing there that? behind oh, that shit. mound of a beluga. No, let me stop myself. Let me stop myself. Oh my so gosh. how this fight is going to work is you have to keep your hand on the cloth, and the first one to take their hand off the cloth loses. Loki is the weirdest way to throw down, but fuck it, I'm all here for it. So the ball socks him, but yo, this man is gripping the cloth with his pinky <laughs> and his um, this might be the oh, craziest boy. grip strength I've ever seen. So Gavar continues to tee off on Biscuit, but then he Ooh. grabs his head and slaps that nigga into the ground. Oh, so while Baki's man. watching this, he's getting pissed off. He's like, bro, I ain't trying to watch those niggas play a game with a damn handkerchief. Real, so this though. man goes to Biscuit's girlfriend's bed and starts sleeping with her. Oh my God. Man, use the he bed on top of the bed. It. So they just lose a handkerchief after that. So this man is so pissed off. He whacks this nigga so far 
he cracks into the wall. Uh, Everybody's gotta, like, hey, yo, bro, that nigga girl. dead. But we all know Guevara has like some zombie mode. You no, know, the man's a pirate, so he's gonna be on some Davy Jones locker type shit. Oh, so okay. now they start for real swinging. Oh, that's the only way you can get him pissed is when you mm -hmm. mess with his girl. Yeah, it's true. Cause he wasn't, he was playing with the handkerchief. I'm, I'm surprised when the guy spit on his hand, this girl's handkerchief. He wasn't, he wouldn't go crying. He ain't gonna mess with that dude. That dude crazy. He's the top guy. He's like one of the top. He above him. He's not much Planted that him. nigga like a flower. So he gets up and he ends up landing a kill shot. And it seems like the fight is over. So President Bush is there and, and this nigga Yujiro is here. And everybody's laughing. So he's like, wait, wait a minute. A president, how are you bending down to these prisoners? Oh, what is listen, I can't watch Adam. Adam will get me pissed. I mean, he know he'll get slapped up. He know he's a pussy. Yeah, he's gonna get slapped up. Something's oh. wrong. And all that shit that just played out was a dream. Cause that nigga got knocked up. Yeah. Nigga, shit is as straight as a board. Look at his like, Damn, he really just violated that nigga. Violated so he him. picks up his mattress and takes off. His so mattress. Cut away from the prison for a bit. The president is driving, but yo, you're like, wait a minute. Why is the president driving? And Where then you see service? this nigga, oh. Yujiro, is in the back. He's so far in the. <laughs> Oh my oh, god. Yo, this Yo, nigga dead ass wow. made the president his butler. So after the More fight, like the second bitch. coming of the booty warrior just left. So yeah, this man Gavar just dug a big ass hole and just escaped out that bitch. So now we go to the next morning and it's time for roll call. And while the CEO is talking, this man Baki says, uh, excuse me, uh, can I go take a step outside? And everybody like, I know this nigga is not talking right Rocky's now. Out Rocky's out of order. Fuck it. So fuck that nigga. And dude is staging a whole prison break. Man is out here dodging bullets and just dropping all the guards like it's nothing. So Baki gets outside, but he's surrounded. So the warden's like, hey, yo, bro, uh, what the fuck you think you're doing? You really think you about to Baki escape this shit? Baki up. says, uh, <laughs> shit, I already did, nigga. So he ended up breaking dude's glasses in the a flash. Glasses? Like, no, you didn't even see that shit. And all the guards surrounding them, holding them up at gunpoint. Yeah, he took they butt. Buttons off. So Baki's like, yeah, y'all niggas are my hostages now. So Don't he tells the warden to put his arm around him and walk him out. So they walk him out and right as Dang. he gets outside of the prison, he's like, okay, y'all can take me back now. <laughs> Dog. Wait, what? <laughs> that is embarrassing. He had six niggas holding him up at gunpoint they and made them all his bitch. the dude out and he asked to go back in. Yeah, that was too easy. He's like, I gotta go back in. He know he got them. He wanted challenge. He felt like, man, uh, it's too easy, man. Let me get my, get my butt back in this bitch. Damn, that's sad. Jeez. And straight up walked out the prison. So then Biscuit pulls up and dude is actually offended by this. So dude tells the warden to take off his cuss because he wants to run the hands with him right now. But then, what? Yo, he go this one man one. Baki started talking so much shit. This nigga said, grab some food and try again. Ooh, yo, okay, yeah. Everybody like, hey, yo, this nigga did not just say that shit. And yo, this man is Yes. He's like, I know this little nigga's you know not talking all this shit crazy. right now. So after that, Baki just leaves, but he gets thrown in solitary confinement. So while Again? he's in solitary confinement, Biscuit Again. comes in his cell, starts talking shit to him, then he whips out his shit and pisses <laughs> on him. Hey, yo, what the Bro, fuck? What's up with yo, these what is up with niggas pissing oh. on yeah. niggas? Pause! That might be one Pause. of the most disrespectful For things real. I have yeah. ever seen. Oh. He took a whole Baki, leak on that what nigga. Do about it? After that, Baki just starts laughing. <laughs> At his ass. He like, damn yeah. nigga, you a bitch. You gotta piss on a nigga that's chained up. Damn, that's damn, sad, that bro. So sad. Later on, Biscuit comes lie. back to Wasella. He's like, all right, we gonna fight in two weeks. But Baki's like, nah, fuck that. We fighting right here, right now. Oh, shit, he he kicks now. dude in his face. Ooh. So Biscuit's like, all right, little nigga, let's play then. So he slaps the fuck out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass wall. So then he busts out the nigga in the back. He's like, oh shit. The fuck going on? Hey, they wild. This is getting out his ass. Dude got sent through a whole ass wall. All the so way then he back. busts out the tuxedo. And he's like, all right, little boy, I'm about oh, to beat your going. ass. So Baki tries to punch him in the gut, but he grabs it and drags his ass through the wall. Ooh, then he slunk him like a towel and speared him through like five other cells. Then dog is just beating the hell out of him. Bro. No, this man is holding him like. Nigga, nigga, what are you wearing? Biscuit, what are you? <laughs> got some cheetah underwear on. Like. I think Biscuit about that. I think he's a booty bandit too. Yeah, they pee on each other. Who knows what they up to? 
like a toy. It was just eating all that, bro. And just threw him like a rag doll damn. across the floor. But That's then you up. see Baki spring up and there it is. That damn Ooh, back. demon back. Look at that and back. that's when Biscuit knew Ooh. that plot armor about it's to serious. kick it real nice. So he so ended up flipping him over and you couldn't even see it. The warden literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit. So <laughs> then Biscuit decided to get in. <laughs> Because they're like, Yo, how quick he flipped his ass. You have to replay that bitch. Just to see that shit. That's tough. But literally had to pull out the instant replay to see that shit. Time. So then Biscuit decided to get in morph ball form. Yo, what is up with niggas what mimicking Samus in this? So Baki throws a punch, but he blocks it, and he ends up trying to eat this nigga on some Pac-Man type Ooh. shit. So then he spits him out, and then tries to do out. it again. But Baki ends up putting his damn fingers up his nose, and bro is having the nosebleed of a lifetime. Ooh, so then they tough. face off, and Baki's just just ready to throw their hands Bobby at this point. Straight up one-on-one -on -one fist fight, no holds barred. So they just start blasting, going for punch for punch, over and over okay. and Dude, over so again. But Baki ends up pushing him back in the nigga <laughs> drops. Damn, he really did that Dude, shit. Look at Baki's teeth though. His teeth missing, but yeah, he still went he in. Did his shit. That's a real fight. He did his shit, though. Wait, he got his back. Let's get out of good fight. I ain't gonna lie. Damn, he really did that, that shit. Biscuit. Bro, knocked about cold. He even had his girlfriend come and get up. <laughs> oh, oh, he oh, off oh, ass. Got up. Biscuit <laughs> picks up his mattress and oh, leaves the battlefield. And our boy Baki is a free man. <laughs> picked up his mattress. Yeah, that shit crazy. It's the fact that his girlfriend had to show up in order for him to get up. But her girlfriend never gets up. That's what I'm saying. That's, That's why, why it's funny. Surprising. Bruh, you know you got whoop when your girl get up. Your girl walked up. Come on, man. Biscuit picks up his mattress and leaves the That's battlefield. Mattress, and our boy Baki is a free man. So at the end of the season, Yujiro figures out that Baki beat Unchained, and now Baki is the biggest threat to him. But at the end, we see this dude stuck in ice. Now, I don't know who exactly that? this is, but I've heard of his name before. Something to do with... Forgot the pickles! <gasps> Yeah, that was Baki Beyond Scared Straight. And that concludes our tour of the Arizona State Prison. Oh, but nigga, you think we done with prison? <laughs> nah, because we're going to Green Dolphin Street next. Because it's getting real spicy up in there. But anyways, uh, uh, before I forget, I got a little big <laughs> announcement real quick. So, uh, your boy made a second channel. Believe it or not, I'm actually dropping the first vid oh, tomorrow at the same know? time. So, yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, doing yeah, that's what's up. Y'all make sure y'all go follow that channel. Dang, your boy made a second channel. He got a gaming channel. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah. Believe it or not, I'm actually dropping the first vid tomorrow at the same time. So yeah, I'm gonna put the link in the description That's if y'all wanna check it out. Yeah, you can see my black ass two days straight. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, though, God bless y'all, and I'm out this home. Hey, shout out to CJ, man, for doing his thing. Hey, yo, if y'all could CJ. Hey, also, let us know, like, which anime series y'all want us, like, to react to. Facts, facts, facts. Yeah, let us know. Y'all know what's up. Live and Color fam, we is out.